All right, Educational Vision Part 2. Things we should be talking about. You know, Calvin's talking about homework. All his time designated as homework time. Yeah, but if it doesn't take him that long, why should he have to stay in his room? You know, the new math. And Hobbes has some interesting ways of doing things with uh, his math homework. You know, I, I look at you know, these as a couple different ways. Um, you know, should they all get the same homework? You know, how much time should, they're going to spend different time, they have different learning abilities. And should we be doing homework is really a big thing. Who's there to help them? You know, imaginary friend? You know, he's helping. You know, dad's helping, but does every kid have that? Is it fair? Is it right? Um, should we be sending homework home? Um, what should we be doing? Should we change it? We want people to be doing things, kids, students, teachers, to be doing things outside of class. But, you know, do we need 1 through 30 in the back of the chapter for a night? Is that really what we want for homework? Or just we want them to do some, some, spend more time with the subject. But if they don't know how to do it, doing it wrong for homework is not going to help them. You know, so we got to have some discussions about what is homework. And, and I would prefer to call it practice and kind of make the analogies for sports. You got to practice to be able to participate in the game and you get better. And kids understand that because we're a pretty sports society. You know, we want to go for understanding, not just doing, not just compliance, but actually understanding something. You know, report cards, grades, what? We don't get some, pre what? I, you know, my thoughts on grading, I really wish we could get rid of grades. I think grades are in everything. Kids don't need grades to learn. They need feedback to learn. Feedback is one thing we're never really taught to give correctly. So learn how to give good descriptive feedback. That's important. Um, why do we need grades? What's the point? So we need to rank. Did you get into teaching to have to give to grade kids? I get in to help people learn. Um, if we have to have grading, I think binary. You got it. Move on, or don't have it yet. Let's keep working on it. Kind of like the proficiency mastery idea. You know, he's late with something. You know, whose life hangs in the balance? Is it really that important? That deadline, you know, some people say, do you want it by Friday or do you want it done right? Um, we got, we should be having some discussions about due dates. Yeah, we want them to understand things to do in the world, but, you know, you can pay you some utility bills late. You can put uh, ta ex uh, extensions on taxes. I mean, it's lots of things whose dates are flexible. And, you know, why is it late? As a teacher, shouldn't you know that, that they're not getting it finished? They're not getting it done. Shouldn't you be doing checking along the way? Why is this such a big thing? And when they show up, it's not done. Like, well, I didn't know you weren't done. How come? we got to find some things out. You know, what is our pace? Are we stressing our kids out? I think a lot feel they are. We're putting a lot on them. Unhealthy, unnatural hour of the day. I think we got to talk about start times in school. We know all the research on teenagers and little kids, um, but we just don't do it. That would be part two. Coming up soon, part three.